Hello and welcome to some Sea Open at Darlington. I love Darlington. Alone. <laughs> Very fun track to drive, but it can get a little bit scary when you have to drive around other people. But, uh, looking forward to the event today anyway. Hoping it's going to be a good one. Got ourselves our free setup from OSR. And, uh... It's, it's a fun, it's such a fun track to drive, that's for sure. That I cannot deny. Green, green, green. Okay, well, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Try not to hit the wall during qualifying. That's, uh... Rule number one. Got pretty loose there. One and two is the tires are still a bit cold, so that's not very fast. That'll be a decent lap. I'm gonna try to push it a little bit harder here, though. Okay. Good one and two. Fighting the loose conditions in three and four. Hey, that's an all-time best. Nice. Hold it out in qualifying. That'll be a two nine two nine four. Two nine two nine two nine. <laughs> um, not sure how it's gonna hold up against uh, guys that you know get their fancy schmancy setups up in here. But uh, hold for now. A lot of people qualified already. Times are coming in fast. I imagine people are going to be want to uh, want to be qualifying since passing can be a headache at the old Darlington, the old egg names, nicknames. There's plenty of them. For the number two here tonight, late night race. Uh, I believe it's single split. Stop me if you heard that one before. Been busy all week, so only can race in the wee hours of the night. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna get out of this thing and make sure that I get my tape back to normal because it was at 100%. And uh, something tells me that's not gonna last the whole race if I try to do that. So <laughs> I'll fix that. I'm kinda surprised the tires aren't worse after going so hard in qualifying, down. but. I, I I really have no idea how to save tires at Darlington, to be honest with you. But we'll see. Imagine the ones probably uh, going to be capable of out qualifying us. They always have their top tier setups and such. A couple other guys in here that usually are on the good the good. Setups. All right, we got only a couple people to go. Oh, we're gonna wait the whole time though, because the nine's not here. Oh, that's there. It is right there. They lost connection. So I believe we're gonna have to wait the full rest of the minute here for the race to start. But uh, that's okay. Not too long. Like I said, not sure how to save tires. At Darlington, I guess uh, just don't drive in too hard, and you know I'll try to keep it on the right rear as I'm speeding off on exit. I guess that's all I can really do. I'll give it my best shot, and we'll see where it takes us. Hope we get a long green run. But uh, you know, single split. We got a couple of rookie divisions in here. Well, the sevens are rookie, and they're pretty high up there in ranking. I don't know what their I rating is, but they're number seven of sixteen, so they're a fast riser, perhaps. Looks like eight got into the wall or spun in qualifying, and so did the sixteen. Easy to do, especially when you're pushing it as hard as you can. Interesting. Interestingly, the one has chosen not to qualify. Maybe he knows something I don't, and everyone's going to be way too aggressive off the start here. 
and run me over and kill me. <laughs> well, hopefully not. 67, making sure, double checking, so I don't explode. That's a nice pull, though. Add that one to the stat sheet. Crew chief's ready to go. Three sets of tires should be enough for an 80 lap race. Oh, the number one wasn't even in here. I guess they purposely put themselves at the very rear. Yeah, so they purposely started last. Well, if I'm not going to start uh, in the back to avoid the chaos, uh, I guess front of the field's the next best thing. Just so I'm not right in the middle of the incoming implosion. I'll get myself, hopefully, a nice little launch off the start. But Darlington's a place you really, really don't want to be racing side by side if you can help it. Not only is it dangerous, but not so great for long run speed either if you're going to be having to yank the wheel hard to hold your line. So, if someone gets the nose on me and tent to pass, I will let them have it. Because we are in it for lap 80. And none of the other ones before it. Should be fun though. Just barely got the pole. Just a couple thousandths over the three. And a couple great times behind as well. Right around that range. And then a little bit of a gap to the seven. And then another gap to the teen. And another gap to the twelve. Once you get past like the first four guys, then it's like uh Yeah, radio chat. Yeah, it's really quiet. Um, it's like a the couple tenths between cars. Ready to check. Fahrenheit. You're in pole. Got you. A couple of guys are really quiet. I heard him say radio check, but it was really quiet, so uh, I was hoping he would the pace car. In the be a little louder the next time, and then I would have told him. I got him. If the other guy didn't, just then. It's a little bit too quiet to hear. That might be my own volume, though. We haven't got that data. Yeah, it should be fine. I always use my uh, crew chief as like my volume yeah, gauge. For that. See if my volume's right. So it looks like a second gear start. I did practice green flag pit stops just in case. Well, I'm not going to. Oops, I'm on standings and not relative. Good luck, everybody. Thank you to the Good 15. Luck, Get ready, going green. Being polite. Okay, I got it. Nice launch. All right. Green, green. Are so good. Good start, mate. Now comes the part where I probably burn my tires off, but I don't know how not to do that, so I guess I'll just drive. Probably learn something. That's all I can really hope for, I guess. Try to get on the right rear. That's good. Slow it down before I get to the corner here. Don't want to be burning off my tires during yellow. That was for literal last. Line up single file behind the pace car. For literal last, so I've heard. I'm going to up my volume just a tiny bit. That one's a bit quiet. That involved you? Nine gallons. No. One didn't get caught in it. I thought for a second he might have. Nine I wouldn't go that far. Save fuel for the heck of it. Not coming in now. I just started. I have my moments. 
slightly above average. That's all I will win. Especially if that Jason Holdsworth guy is in his race, you know? Yeah, it's my setup. It makes me shit. Oh, oh, it's definitely not the setup that makes you shit. Hi, Matt. Hi, Sandy. The road is closed. We're under caution. It's tomato ramps. Yeah, no way we're even close to uh, fuel here. Didn't know if it was one of those races where it's borderline and maybe with one. What are you doing tonight, Matthew? Caution, you're good, but. Not the case. We'll be better when uh, Jason passes you. Right, Jason. Two to green already. It's pretty quick. Coming to uh, one to green already. One thing you have to do at this track, and it's not hit the wall. Now, that's the one thing you have to do at this track. You gotta leave with a darn the stripe, or did you, you really race? Away too much. <laughs> well, that should be at every track. You shouldn't look away. No, I'm talking about like it's the black box too much or something on this track. It just takes a second, but you're in the wall. All right, let's give this another go. This caution might be, might be my best friend if I can't save tires. Yeah, but my tax there. What the hell do you need a tax for? We got found. Because it looks cool. I said I'm long run, so I gotta wait for that. Hopefully you can get another launch again. It's nice not having to uh, worry about being side by side in turn one, like just about everyone else in the field. I recommend your best, I'll let you buy. Oh, I ain't no hurry to about 20 laps. Yeah, I'm wrong on this one. Post car is off, time to do your job. Had a good launch. Actually got a little bit of loose on the exit of the corner. That was a little scary. Good though. Guy's driving hard behind us. He's not interested in saving tires. Easy does it. How much more room did you want? I'm moving on my way to bro. Turn right next to me, bro. Someone else slow down there. Number 10. I don't know if they got damage or something going on. Gosh, it, it's just so fun to uh, race this track, though. I could just do laps alone yeah, at this place this forever. <laughs> Probably still have fun. What a classic. Yeah, it's take her easy. So we got some space behind us now, so it might take it a little easier. Should try now, but it's okay. And just try to manage the gap.
and hopefully I'll be successful at it, despite not really knowing how to save tires here. Okay, Colton, your water temperature's creeping up. Water temperature's creeping up. Guess I'll uh, keep an ear out for that. I know the uh, crew chief's a little bit sensitive on that kind of thing, but doesn't take any chances either. I'll keep an eye on it. Three is half a second back. I'll keep an eye on that gap as well. I only have so many eyes though. <laughs> Someone has left. I'm trying to stay high in three and four, I think being at the top of the track and kind of having room to kind of turn down, I guess, might be good for the car because it, it feels looser whenever you're closer to the top. So I assume that's more on the right rear and therefore less on the right front. That's the idea. Just guessing at this point though. And uh, I'm giving the uh, brakes a good firm application. On entry to get it slowed down. I don't know why I'm on all time best right now by the way. It's certainly not trying to hit best laps. Nice pass, yeah. get that to uh, session on last lap. That's better. Feels good. Feels pretty good. Middle to uh, exit of corner three and four. And I mean good as in feels kind of fast, but also feels like it's on the right rear. That's what we want. That's what I'm hoping will bring us Long-term gains. That one hurt, Anthony. Yeah, it did. Assuming six hit the wall, and that's what prompted you. that comment. I already kind of... didn't really want to catch the wall, but looks like I did. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it was. Uh, we're already kind of seeing lap traffic on our horizon here. Not too thrilled about, but... We'll be okay, I'm sure. Still a little bit before we get there, though. Kind of letting go of the uh, throttle, kind of like middle of one and two, so that way I can prep for the second half of the corner. Kind of the same thing in three and four as well. Kind of just like taking the corners, well, each individually. Turn one, two, three, and four almost feel like they really are completely separate corners here at Darlington. Or the way I drive it, at least. Well, Matt, how many wins you got this week so far at this track? Oh, what are we seeing up here? A couple. Oh, he's got a couple wins already. He's coming too. Let's see if uh, won every race. He's probably <laughs> see if we can hold this. But he's on his way. No, not every race. There's a lot of people out there that are better than me. Now my mom beat him once. Had a very slow truck in walk. Still kind of just holding even with the guy with my arms.
Rep still feels good though. Obviously just losing pace as we lose grip, but it's not like it's feeling crazy tight or anything. It should be alright. Pushed a little bit too much out of four there. Coming up on the 13. How is this transaction going to go? Looks like it's going to start with a wall hit. That's not really what I want to see. Thank you, 13. Appreciate it. That way. Look at this green run, that's for sure. Grimmin, man, you're holding the leaders up. You wrong. Thank you. What the heck? Where did everyone go behind us? The three have someone hit the wall? Where did everyone go? Huh, I assume someone hit the wall. I don't mind seeing that. I'm trying to be better about uh, not using the throttle as a light switch, but instead being a uh, oof more cautious on application as I got close to the wall there. Hopefully I'll be able to keep this truck close to the wall but not in it. Go on Matt, go on Matt. We uh, I had some trouble in a recent production car challenge race getting my uh, the side of the car into the grass while trying to maximize my angle into the corners and uh, Hopefully I have a little bit of a better awareness about the side of my truck here in this race. So far so good though. Been able to keep out of the wall. Thank you. Get a little bit tighter. Nothing that I can't manage. a little bit hard there. I feel like I was pretty hard on the right sides. On the right front, maybe. I don't need to push that hard. It worked, obviously, but I'm not sure if that was good to the truck. Four is back there. About second and a half-ish. First big tight moment. I wasn't good. That's down some time. Didn't uh, get turned out of uh, four how I needed it to get turned. And didn't feel so good. Is this guy gonna let us go? Let's compromise our entry.
Now he's out of the way. That lost us a bunch of time, though. Clear Had to wait for him. But I understand. It's really hard to be a lap car here. Right. Usually you're so occupied just trying to get around the track without hitting the wall. I mean, to have to change your approach. For the lead lap guys, I understand it's difficult. So I'm not going to get upset at anyone about anything here. Well, we sent her a little too hard there. Definitely. Back out. Yeah, well, I'm trying to get over the hell rough down here every day. Didn't. Thanks a bunch. 15. Yeah, he ran that last night. Are you kidding me? Please don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. So we, well, I do know why. But... Back again. Because it's got the left rear small. A small left rear in it. Dude, get out of the way. Bloody hell, why are you turning in on me? Thank you. <laughs> oh boy. That lap time was oh, we survived it at least. I thought he was just going to completely door us. Instead, he just dove it in for some reason. But we survived. I think the one's gonna come catch and pass us. They seem to have good long run speed, which is not much of a surprise, but disappointing. Yeah, they're flying. Now, Xander, you locking that ball, ain't you? I'll try though. I'm not uh, not just gonna completely give it to him. I mean, when he gets here, I'm not gonna fight him like too wide. That sounds like a way to die. But that lap was out. No, that's way I'm fine. He's back out. <laughs> Guess he's gonna wait for uh, another chance. Have kind of a pass me there, probably. Might need to start doing this cut down line out of four if I want to keep pace. You tied her loose. Yeah, thank you. Who? Kevin. <sighs> yeah, car's oh, tight. I don't think Sandy knows where he is. I'm wounded. Oh, am I? Well, you both hit it about the same. 9.5 gallons. So we had an early caution, so halfway's not to play. A little bit halfway to play, though. Well, he caught us, and then... I thought we had a chance to pass. And he uh, fell off a little bit, oddly enough. God damn it, and he's got a little break by it in there.
thinking lap 45 or something, maybe. It's all right, Anthony. We're catching Matt. And here he comes again. I know, he's a joke. He did slow down an awful lot, though, to go on the pit road. That's good consistency. Keep it up. No, that's because I missed it the first time. He's right on our booty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. And I was even off the racing turns. I was below well it. I was pitting. So he decided halfway. Interesting. That's half distance. I'd like to tighten this up and look great to do it. Well, with this lap truck in front of us, maybe I do want to go now. The gap to Smith behind is now 5.7. Mid lane speed limit is 45 miles Don't do per it. hour. Don't do it to me. Oh man, I got my damage fixed too. <sighs> they pretty harsh oh, with it or not? <laughs> that was really close. But it was fast. Uh, I had 12 and a half seconds, but under green, that's a lot. Pit box team. He fixed 12 and a half seconds? Is that going to be worth it for him? Five. For real. Hmm. Three. Two. Now I'm probably bottoming one. out. Right here. What? Where did I get optional? Did I hit something on something? Most definitely in bottoming out now. We're done. Get going. Watch your mirrors. There's a car approaching. Am I losing my mind? Did I hit something? I don't remember. All right, I don't think I did. I thought I didn't. What'd you do, Jason? Find it coming out of bit. Oh. I'm trying to think of how, where I got that damage. The car ahead's pretty now. Oh. E7. I'm just happy at E4. You got mystery damage out here, I guess. That was 90, 85. Holy shit. 73, 81. We're gaining on the car in front. The gap's now 1.9. We're flying. We're gonna be careful getting around these guys, though. Bro, pick a lane. He bought the track. He can be patient. Do any of them. All right, then he's right. He can't do any of them. Don't complain when you get hit, then. Car inside. Car in front of us is now. Push it. We lost a lot of time waiting for that guy, but that's inevitable, I think. Making your way through lap traffic here, I think everybody's going to run into that at some point. At least I hope so. Okay, take the corner. We're in lucky dog position, so if there is a caution at this point, I think we're okay. A little bit easier this run. I think there will be more green flag laps this run than the first one, so. Uh, yeah, I got a good idea. Guy in the wall. Outside. Clear. Bang. Alright. He was coming in a hurry there, three. Three. <laughs> That's what I told her. You're in four position. And I yelled, do it, fail! Praise hell, praise hell. 
Outside, clear. Uh, it's not good on the tires to do that, but I had no choice. Even after pitting, by the way, we're in third, so that's that's kind of cool. <laughs> Pretty good. Who's ahead of us? Six. Oh, duh, they're on my relative. <laughs> they just haven't paid yet. The bold strategy staying out this long layer of cotton. <laughs> Are they hoping for caution? I guess. See how it pans out. Still could work for them. Get a caution now. I think I need to come get tires. And uh, they would have the track position. Did you know the German founded San Diego? The who and what? The lead is spinning now. It's pitting. It's pitting, so they have thrown in the towel on that strategy. We got another person potentially still out though. Two guys still out. And we got the number one ten seconds behind. That is uh, quite a distance for them to come grab, but at least I didn't lose too much time to you on the pit I think he might be able to do it. He uh, he caught us. I was being very gentle. He very nearly passed us after passing the whole field because he started last off again. Back so back he's probably the favorite to win at this point. But uh, don't count me out just yet. Let's see how this run goes. But he looks like he's catching fast. Though I, th I think the relatives are a little weird. <laughs> It seems like it's jumping around a bit. Uh, it's gonna be tough to piss Colin. Especially when I got my damn every straightaway. Damn guy telling me my water comes hot. Fuck, I'm getting water tank money as well. Uh, I'm only getting it's not just I'm me mad. with the water temp thing. Though I haven't heard it from my actual spotter, like from iRacing, it was just the crew chief. This temp, and then I hit that, and I ran in the back of that guy, but at this temp you can run max. Well, if she goes, she blows. It's all right. We're very tired, Jason. I feel like that. 85 in front. 80 seconds. Please back off. Clear. That guy scares well, me a little bit based on that earlier problem we had. So I didn't really want to cut in front of him. I didn't really trust him. Not even take fire. No, that no. In an open race, if you're going to take fuel, you might as well take that yourself. So. For real. Hopefully they didn't lose us too much time. We have a lot of traffic to get through, though, so anything can happen here, for sure. The rest of this race. Inside. Clear. I'm having so much fun though. You don't see it, but I'm like grinning this whole race. Darling, it's awesome. Can't see how far back the number one is right now because the traffic. There it is, 7.6. Oh, he's catching so fast. Hoping he maybe has to push a little bit to try to catch us, but hmm. I 
I'm hoping if he pushes a little bit, it'll be harder on his tires, having to make up that 10 seconds. But I think he's probably got the best truck out here today. Oh my lord. There it goes. God, that sucks. Clear inside. That was a lot of time I just lost. That was a whole lot of time. Nothing that guy could really do, though. I don't blame him. It's just an unfortunate timing to catch him. So far, for the most part, though, the lap traffic has been really good this race. Everyone's been in, holding lines and backing out when they uh, when they can. So very thankful. But there's no one just like weaving around or anything. One issue we had was the. Uh, guy that dove it in on us for some reason, but even that, we survived it, so not a huge deal. Hey, can I get in front of you, please? Are you just sitting here in front of me? <laughs> I know. That lap time was 50.8. He's still coming fast, though. Uh, we're gonna... We just gotta hope he runs out of time instead of runs us down. Thank you. Bad. We got two guys racing for position ahead of us. Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this. had a bad feeling about it. Look at all, let's uh, take a look at all the time I lost. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, pretty much a full second we just lost. I mean, again, everyone's got to deal with it. Everyone's got to deal with the lap cars, but I sure caught them at a bad time. So we lose by a second. Wow, that's not the most scientific way to look at it. My uh, irrational brain is going to be screaming. <laughs> Felt pretty good. Felt like I was on the right rear pretty well. Maybe I need to stay on the high side a little longer, three and four. It might serve me well. Point five and gaining. The gap to Kosha behind is now four point one seconds. Almost got in the wall there. That was probably as close as I've gotten all race. I thought I was getting into it. That's one of those I got close enough that netcode might have thought I did and it'll show up in the incident report. <laughs>
Oh, he sure is catching quick. Your lap time was at 31.2. Trying, man. Thank you. Pretty focused here right now. The gap to Kosha behind is now 3.4. I took that weird. Not a good three and four there. Gross. That was at 31.5. It's pretty bad lap overall, to be honest. A little better there. Got to be more consistent than that, though. But shout out to OSR for a great setup. Just want to throw that in there. Free setup, didn't pay a penny for it. Doing a great job here. They're always there for me in my empty pockets. <laughs> Oh, he's two and a half seconds back. The gap to Kosha behind is now 2.5. Man, what's it take to get someone to make him a stick around here? I swear. <laughs> I can't make a mistake or I get overtaken because you know for a fact they're not making a mistake behind me. That lap was at That's just not good for a person's mental state, you know? Tell them they have to be perfect. <laughs> I mean, I'm far from perfect on pace as I almost hit the wall. Got tight. But uh, at least I uh, kept it out of the wall so far. And I'm going to keep saying so far until. That good old checkered flag raises. One more to go here, though. Pretty consistent. Tight. Had to lift off there. That's going to be bad. It's a bad exit. And that's bad for the tire, too. Gotta be smooth here. Six to go now. He's only a second and a half behind. Oh boy. That lap was at We have one lap fresher tires than he does, but I guarantee you his tires are better than mine at this point. I have a feeling he probably knows how to save them better than I do. Maybe he's got a looser setup that's helping him out saving them. Whatever the case may be. He's obviously catching me, so... Oh, I see him. Five to go. Five left to go. It's hot pursuit here in Darlington. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Crew Chief. Oh, he's getting closer. Yeah, thanks. I hadn't noticed. That does not make me feel better, but I appreciate it anyway. I almost feel like I'm low enough revs in 3 and 4 right now that I could get into third gear and get through the corner faster, but there's no way I'm trying it right now. No way on this earthly planet that I am trying that right now. Way too risky.
Turn. Okay. Didn't know if I was going to turn there for a second. Three to go. He's uh, approaching about a second behind. <sighs> I think I'm about equal. Oh, that's not true. I was going to say equal in one and two, but... I think he gained a couple tenths on me there. It's coming. Oh my god, it's gonna be close. Please tell me I'm not Kurt Busch and he's not Ricky Craven. Actually, you know what? That would be a pretty awesome finish if it looked like that, so you know what? If, if that's the case, that's fine too. Under a second. One more lap. Can I hold on to it? One more lap to go. Stay focused. You've got one gallon left. <sighs> Breathe. One more corner. Kosher is closing you down. The gap has come down to 0.6. Oh my god. Thanks, man. I was sweating. That was some hard work, but it was a great race. Perfect. Great win. You won. You destroyed me. I think we should do an A race next. He's all casual because there was like nothing to him. <laughs> but I had to work my butt off. Oh, that feels good, though. He had the better truck, I think, definitely, because he went and took that uh, damage fix and everything, and he obviously was catching me. Okay, the race is over. Bring it on in. We did it. We pulled it off. We didn't even have to uh, <laughs> do it, rookie Craven, Hurt Bush style. <laughs> All right. Nice. All right. That was fun. I love Darlington. Darlington. So, we get a view. We'll get a look at what happened out here. Like, whoever this two is spinning out on the front straight. That guy's a lunatic. Oh, I'd show the tires, but that's after burnouts. 6977. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, we get the win after starting pole, but it wasn't easy. Had to keep it off the wall and uh, keep it steady if I wanted to get that. So he was obviously coming up quick. So, lap one, what we got? We got a truck in the wall. Not too bad, though. Oh... What? <laughs> what was that? I was like, kind of wondering, I was like, what's happening with 11? He's going through his corner so slow, and then Jump Scare 13 comes flying in. <laughs> like, to be fair, this guy was going really, really slow, but... Uh, 13 didn't really do anything to change how he was planning to take the corner to adjust. So I guess this was our first caution. First and only, right? We only had one caution. That's awesome. Ooh. That stinks. Looked like there was maybe a little bit of prediction code there. Playing a part, tense, trying to get him on exit. And he cuts down. Oh, 16's way too far off the wall, though. And you know you got someone on the inside, you gotta be up here. And then... They still should have been fine, though, too, because, look, they were a part of that. They should have been okay. And then I think this guy maybe didn't have the best connection. One of the two, I think, didn't. I don't know. Oh, man, we had some real trouble. Some guys here, 12, 12, 14. Oh, no. 
15. It's one of those neon green machines, as seen in previous episodes. <laughs> he just gets a bit of wall. And, uh... I don't know what we're seeing there. 12 approach quickly. That's what we saw. And then a little bit of wall on exit, looks like. Just a little bit. I never did find out why I had damage, either, by the way. I don't know what that was about. Not eating the wall. 15 kind of takes a lower entry and ends up not getting the turn in he needs. A bit of wall there. That's nothing. Bop. That's going to happen a lot. You really have to be taking one and two on the high side if you want to get the cut down that you need in order to still have some decent speed off the corner. Maybe that's why I like Darlington so much, is because it really favors running the high side. You know how I enjoy that. So, maybe that's why this place is uh, so much fun to me. Another bonk. That's from fourth position. And a pretty heavy hit, too. Number two, or uh, turn two. It's another bite out of someone. Here we got a little bit of... Looked like it was going to be entry, but ended up middle of the corner. There's going to be a lot of wall hits, aren't there? I'm going to have to go through for these a little faster, because we're just going to see a billion of these. Oh, does he spin from that, though? No. Wall hit. Wall hit. Uh, wall hit. Uh-oh. Wall hit that looked like it was going to be something else. <laughs> the three just had to uh, enter a little higher because they were anticipating someone being down low and they uh, came a little too hot, I guess. Ooh, looking interesting here, though. Yeah, good on the number one for being patient, though. He was uh, There was a time in this race where it looked like he had a great run on us and he was patient with it, and then he never got back to me. And I'm wondering if he had been able to pass me there things might have turned out differently. Then again, that was before the pit stop. And who knows how things would, would change from there, but... We got the wall a little bit there. Some more wall. No. This is the guy that was a uh, rookie class. The person I assume is a fast riser. It's the wall there, but they had a good finish too. Finished on the lead lap. Sixth position. So, that's pretty nice work. Wall. Ooh, one gets a little bit of wall there. Did I get the wall? Oh, I did hit the wall. That's right. That must have been where the damage came from. Okay, I forgot about this, because I was passing the 15, and then the 15 didn't back out. Like, he didn't he didn't cut me any slack at all. And so I couldn't turn down how I wanted, and it's, it's just so hard to not hit the wall in that corner. And this, is this when he dives in on me? Yeah, I'm <laughs> like, what are you doing, man? Please don't do that. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> Like, what? Okay, maybe, maybe I overreacted, but like, why? 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 <laughs> he gave me a heart attack. And I couldn't take the corner how I wanted. <laughs> I don't know, I should, maybe I shouldn't tell people what to do, but he also does that to the four. So, he might not know how to be a lap car, or a lap truck, I guess, in this case. He's like blocking the four and then turns down into the four. Yeah, he's kind of all over the place. Something going on on pit road. Uh, can we get like the medical team here? I think this man had a stroke in his truck. I think he's passed out. 
To be fair, like, what is that? Why did... Who designed this? Why can't you just, like, smooth that off? Darlington, what are you doing? I assume that must be like that in real life, too. Why'd you do... Why would you do that? <laughs> you know what? That man already had a stroke. And you're making things harder on him by making the wall jut out. I think I remember the one. Uh, chastising the 12 here for this. Maybe I'm um, remembering something else, but... Bro, pick a lane! Yeah, he was mad at 12 for that. <laughs> Unless he was talking to the 4? Oh, there might have been, like, stuff going on before then, too. I mean, this is the stuff, though, that, like, if this doesn't happen, maybe I don't win this race, because he was coming up so fast. Like, this could easily have lost him a second. That could have been the difference. It's crazy to think about, but so many things that can change the outcome of a race when it runs green like this. That's why it's so fascinating to watch and enjoy, too, though. Goodness, the five didn't bounce off and kill me. I tried, I was really trying to be patient, but also, like, not waste a bunch of time behind guys. Like, I could have taken it to the outside here. I had the tire grip to do it. And, I mean, you can see how fast I'm catching up to this guy. But I'm thinking when I get here, like, everyone hits the wall out of two. So, do I really want to try to pass him on the outside and be aggressive? No. I'm going to be patient and wait, get off the gas there, and I'm going to wait to do it. And I'm glad I did, because sure enough, he's under the wall. And you know he's not doing that on purpose. And whose truck would have been there if I tried to pass on the outside? That's what I'm saying, man. Gotta be patient. Some uh, tomfoolery in the pits, it looks like. It just slows up a whole bunch for some reason. Maybe uh, it looks like he's about to miss his stall by accident and kind of cuts in front of the eight. That's why I like more often than not, I just drive through the pits. I know it's kind of cheesy, but it's not against the rules. And I don't know. I flip flop on whether I like being able to do that or not. Uh, while we're here, though, I'm going to check my, <laughs> my pit entry because I very nearly sped. But it was pretty fast. <laughs> By virtue of almost speeding, it was pretty fast. I don't know if the whole pit entry was very fast. Like, I don't know if this is the way to do it. It's the way I chose to do it. But, uh... I got second gear there, and then make sure I got in there, and then slam on the brakes. Doug was able to slow it down in time. Where's the line? The line's right here. That's 45, and I slow down fast enough. That was very borderline. I almost cost myself a race by, uh, by speeding on entry again. That's, uh, I'm not a stranger to that. I want to see, compared to the ones pit entry, too, I want to see how other guys are doing it. So, oh, yeah, he kind of had a weird spot, too. So I entered down there, went around low. Oh my god, he almost got taken out by the nine. Oh god, that's close. I'm not gonna do it now, but I think we're gonna time both of these entries. I wanna know which entry worked better. I think my entry is safer because I'm off the racing surface, but I have a feeling his might have been actually a little faster. Not sure. He had to hit the brakes pretty hard too, though. Okay, anyway, back to the instance, sorry. Little intermission there. Man, lots of stuff happened. <laughs> and those few couple of laps surrounding the pits. Oh, did I break it? I skipped too fast and I broke it. No, I'm sorry. Can I fix it? Hmm, I broke it. I'm sorry. Sometimes when you start going through the incidents too quickly, it'll break and start only showing. The, uh, the one guy. I'll try a couple things to see if I can fix it real quick, but we got through most of it anyway. I think most of uh, what was going to happen 
was gonna happen near the start and uh, around pits, and we got through those, so. I guess that's it for the incidents. We didn't have any more cautions, so no major incidents that we were missing anyway, but, uh, all right, that's that. We, <laughs> we got the win, but we, uh, almost, uh, almost lost it. We had to really push hard there at the end, really be precise. Um, I think the one probably had the better truck, but ran into some more issues, probably lost a little bit more time through some of the incidents that we saw. I remember he said he fixed the damage for some reason. I don't know why he would do that. I mean, we had damage too, I guess, from the wall hit. Um, I don't know why he would fix the damage, though. I don't think it's going to... Especially, he said, like, 12 seconds? Like, I don't think that's worth it. But uh, I could be wrong. But we uh, were able to pull it off, despite the hard charge from the one. And uh, it was a very fun race. Love Darlington. Love running the high side. And... Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed racing it. I <laughs> uh, appreciate your time, and uh, I hope to see you again next time. Have a good one.